Hi everyone, today I'm going to take you through our new trends area. Trends is all about analysing data from all your matches, uh, be it the misconduct that you give and all your performance data, and giving you insights that go across matches so you can see uh, your total distance you cover, your average distance, where you give cards on the pitch, etc. So I'm going to talk you through that now. So firstly, to get in the trends, you just need to open up the menu and click on the trends page and you'll see the trends area is categorized with different tabs. So we've got matches, misconduct, distance, positioning, speed, heart rate and finance. So I'm going to go real detailed into all of them. So first I'm going to start with matches. Matches is uh, all about your matches, obviously. Um, it shows you how many matches you've done in total using our app. Uh, the average a number of games you do per, per month, um, how many matches you've done as a different type of role as a referee, whether you're the referee, the assistant, the fourth, or an observer. We show you how many goals um, have been scored during your games, how many have been scored by the home team, the away team, and the average per game, uh, as well as a list of all the matches or the, the matches with the most goals that uh, you've seen. And um, at the bottom, we show you the results. So how many home wins, how many away wins, and how many draws. So a really good snapshot of all, all, all the matches that you do. Next, in misconduct, we start to look through all of the uh, yellow and red cards you've given, as well as temporary dismissals if you've ever given them. So we show you the total number of cards, the average per game. Again, the matches with the most uh, cards that you give. Um, so that's a real quick snapshot of, of your misconduct. As you scroll down, you can see um, when you're the referee, every position you give you a yellow cards and we, we've, we've broken the half down into nine different segments and we show you exactly where you're giving cards on the pitch. And then lower down, you can start to filter all of your yellow and red cards by the, um, the different uh, categories of caution codes that you give. Um, so for example, here I give as, as expected, a lot of my yellow cards are for unsporting behavior. So this gives you a good snapshot of what um, you're giving yellow cards for, where you're giving them, and how, how many you're giving on average per game. In distance, you can see the total distance you've covered while using Ref6 in your games, the average distance, um, and we break that down by uh, first half, second half, and any extra time periods you may have done. We show you distance, a distance graph for the last 10 matches. So um, you can see, uh, are, you getting, are you covering more distance? Are you covering less? This, this graph at the moment is actually uh, adding together my referee games and my assistant referee games. And I can show you how to filter that later on. Um, and then it shows here at the bottom the, the, the top distances I've achieved in, in matches as well. So a great snapshot into your distance. The positioning tab is a uh, place where you can compare uh, your heat maps from different matches. So all you need to do is select the specific fixture that you want to compare. So I'm going to try and find um, a couple of games within here. So this is Hillside against Angering. As you can see, I'm pretty central during that game. Um, and then I'm just going to find a different um, match as well. So again, you can see in the in the second game, I'm actually covering more ground, a lot more wider, possibly because I had um, club assistance and not neutral assistance. So I'm obviously going wider, but this is a great place to compare your positioning across multiple games. In speed, we show you the activity breakdown in your game. So how much are you walking, how much are you uh, jogging, running, sprinting, and standing, and we show you the percentages and the total distance covered for that. Again, as well as your last 10 matches, um, we break the distance down by all of those speed categories um, in the graph at the bottom. Your heart rate is a place where you can see your average and max heart rate. Um, that max heart rate is an average of your maximum over all of your matches. Um, and again, a last 10 match graph. And then in finance, we can show you um, how much money you've earned in the different roles that you've done. After each game, you can go into um, the, the result, click on earnings in the tabs at the top and add the earnings in there. And this will give you a rundown of all uh, your finances from your career. At the top right, you can filter. So just tap the funnel at the top. You can filter by date, so I can select career, my season, month, year, and even just select specific custom dates that you want. 
Um, you can filter by specific competitions, so you can see your distance that you cover in specific uh, competitions. Filter by role, and then you can actually filter by matches that have got cards, uh, goals, or extra time, etc. So really easy, simple way to analyze your uh, performance over your career or your season um, within our trends area.